Getting ready for uh, camp three for you. What's the mentality coming in after uh, last year? Um, I think it's more level, uh, even keel. You know, we all had success for, for two years ago. Then last year was uh, a bit of a down year. Um, this year it's um, it's good. I think we've you know, we had a taste of winning and losing, and uh, obviously we're like a couple years better. But uh, I think it's important to lose before you can win. Um, makes you appreciate it more, and uh, we learned a lot of stuff from last year. And I think a lot of us are, are sick of talking about last year now. We're trying to look for the future and, and the season. Obviously, camp starts today, so it's exciting. Well, health-wise, how are you feeling? Great. Yeah, I, uh, I recovered pretty pretty well from my, my foot. Um, went to Worlds and played there. So uh felt like I haven't played in a while in, in the Pepsi Center uh, since March. So looking forward to October. And you have a new look. Wow, you look, you look different. Yeah, uh, trying something new. Yeah. <laughs> see, how, see how I play with this new haircut. <laughs> you look bigger. You try to put on some size over the offseason? I didn't try, honestly. Uh, I just worked out, um, you know, and just got this way. I mean, I didn't really take anything, maybe supplements or anything like that. So, uh, no, I just turned 20, so I guess I still have some to growth. And I actually grew since last year. Are you hoping to give it another go at center this year? I don't, I don't know. I mean, as long as uh, our lines have chemistry and we start a wall, I don't really uh, we'll position it for the center. How much you weigh now, Nate? Uh, 210. And then yeah. you said you, did you get taller? Yeah. yeah, it's like a quarter of an inch. Wow. Yeah. Only 20, just turned 20. <laughs> <laughs> no. Did you, uh, did you work out with Sid and Duchesne again? Yeah, uh, Dutchie wasn't around as much. Um, he, was in, he was in Halliburton for the most part. But, uh, yeah, I mean, me and Sid spent um, the whole summer together working out in L.A. and Halifax. So uh, it was good. I mean, uh, it's always good to work with a guy like that. Yeah, how much does that help you? I mean, because you see, I mean, it's just, he's the gold standard. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he works so hard and he goes in the world. And, um, you know, it's more of a, you know, obviously when I, people here work with him, they might think it's like a friendship trip or whatever, but you know, one, of my, one of my best buddies. So uh, it's just nice to hang out with a good friend every day and work hard with him. So um, along with skates and uh, he can have a great year here. So. What can he teach you? Uh, I don't know. I mean, just when you watch him on the ice, I think that's when you learn your most. Um, not really, uh, he's, not, he's not like a preacher or anything like that. He just kind of hangs out. He's one of the regular guys, so uh, just when I watch him, that's all I know. What's your feeling going into the season for you and just for the team in general? I think we're pretty hungry. Um, I can feel that. Uh, there's good vibes around the dressing room. Um, people are pretty anxious. I mean, we, we skate on our own for a couple of weeks there. It's, um, it gets painful after a while. You know, I just want to get up there. You see rookie camp and you see the drills and practice going on. and. Um, you get anxious, you look at the schedule and who you're playing, and, uh, exhibition games, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's good to get going. And um, obviously, the, the group is hungry. Uh, I can speak for everybody else. Nate, I know you and Ryan O'Reilly were tight. Your thoughts about his departure? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it always sucks to see a good friend go. Um, he, was, uh, you know, he, he was a good player for us for a couple of seasons, uh, obviously. Didn't work out sometimes things like that happen in part of the business.